Hello everyone, welcome to another 3D printing episode and today I'll print a 3D model that I found on the web. It's a bit complex, so let us see what happens. And also we'll explore 3D modeling software like Fusion 360, which I've used for some time, and FreeCAD, which is a bit more complicated. And finally, we'll be talking about slicing tools. So, let's get into it. The 3D model that I'm printing is from a website called Thingiverse. They have a lot of free models and other websites do the same thing. And this will be a real challenge for the printers if you can check the quality since this is not from Creality and uh, I, I'll hope that it's good. Before we go to the slicing software, we're going to have to go to 3D modeling softwares. So the two that I know of is FreeCAD and Fusion 360. Fusion 360 is much more easier to use than FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a bit more complicated, but I prefer Fusion 360. Now we're going to check Fusion 360's interface. So as you can see, you have the Autodesk 360 uh, interface. It's very simple, very user friendly. And here is the FreeCAD interface. This is very complicated. I don't know what to do. Now we're going to explore the slicing process. As you might know, Creality have their own slicer, which is based on Ultimaker Cura, which is bought by Ultimaker. Now we're going to slice the print. So what we must do first is place the print. Then change the size. I'll change it to about 200. And then what I must do is add the infill density, the infill. I made it concrete since it's dirtier. And the base, I made it brim. And then after that, I sliced it. And what we must do to add support beams is press on that and kablamo, you have your print ready to print. After the slicing process, we are going to start printing. The print is going to take almost three and a half hours, which is a lot of time. And I haven't touched the bed since last episode because that's a whole nother story. So as you know the drill, we're going to start printing. So now, let's turn on the printer. To auto home it because the printer does it by itself when you press print which is really good now let's start printing this is the group one okay now we'd have to wait till it heats up
And here we have the print finally finished. It looks amazing. I had an issue with the base plate. The base plate right now is raft instead of brim. Brim, it used the nozzle, held it, and it took it. That was an issue, so I fixed that in the slicer, and the print came out amazing. Okay, here we have the print out. It looks amazing. I love the Groot. Uh, it's very detailed. I love the tree trunk. It looks really good. I have a hole here. It was supposed to be a pencil holder, but it's a bit too small, so I have to fix that. Otherwise, the print is really great. I'll try and make a bigger one next for school, next, which starts next week. But otherwise, the print looks really good if it isn't a pencil holder. It looks very detailed. And hope you enjoyed the episode. Make sure to like and subscribe for this content. I'll see you next time. Peace out. Stay safe.